Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football. Four box pick a team number sweet 16 here on a Sunday, a sweet, sweet Sunday. Thanks for making me and Jaspies part of your day. Uh, no vet common ship, only that does. And if you follow the instructions here, you got a chance at winning some breaky break credit. Good luck. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Sunday the 14th. Already in the middle of the month, Allen with double last spot mojo, Panthers Bears to close out the break. Next four box break is in the store. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Good luck, everybody. Rob wants to see another dare to tear. Did you uh, did you uh, did you tear or did you not get it in the mail yet? Box one of four. Uh, got a little, uh, not in the mail yet, got it. Got a little preseason football actioning happen, happening today. Uh, not sure if there's anything, is there anything terribly exciting happening? Uh, I think it was, was it just Raiders Vikings today? No, there had to be more preseason. The Raiders beat the Vikings 26-24 or whatever that's worth. But anyhow, we're, we're inching closer and closer to, uh, to the actual season. Yeah, Mond looked okay, right? Let's see, any, any headlines here? Oh, man. Poor Zach Wilson, Jets quarterback Zach Wilson, down for, what, four to six weeks, give or take. I don't think he, he might not miss too much time, but, you know, still a young quarterback, needs as many reps and needs to build the, as much chemistry as possible with his teammates. But, but yeah, it looks like he's, he's out for a little bit. Uh, Burrow, Joe Burrow for the Bengals practicing in seven on seven drills. Le Jets, uh, Zach Wilson timeline will depend on the knee scope. Oh, is it two to four weeks? I thought it was four to six. Maybe initially four to six. Maybe the, it's been upgraded to two to four. That'd be better. I guess it just depends on the outcome of the arthroscopic knee surgery. Apparently the, it's an MCL, which is not as disastrous as the ACL, I think. I'm not a doctor, but oh, yeah, I guess it was updated. Expect him is two to four weeks bone bruise and torn meniscus in his right knee. Current believes the meniscus needs only a trim and not a full repair. So we'll 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 see we'll see what happens. Yeah, hopefully on the shorter side. All right, here's the first box. That's to 100, Jordan Davis. And our shipping, our sorting and shipping team will sleeve and top load all of those cards before they're sorted and shipped out, obviously. Just in the interest of time, we just want to breeze through these. And I'll set aside any lower numbered cards or any of the, uh, the rookie quarterbacks that catch my eye. It's nice Garrett Wilson, speaking of the Jets. Under the lights autograph. 15 out of 35, right? Garrett Wilson is Jets. I'll double check. I'm still still in the preseason learning these teams. Yes, Jets. And that's a nice autograph for Tanner Wilson. There you go, Tanner. Be a dynamic pass catcher for for the Jets. That's number. That's to 199, Warren Moon for the Oilers, but it'll go to the Titans. Got a Cam Smith Mini, 26 out of 25 for the Saints. 
That's going to go to Tyrone. Trent McDuffie. Derrick Henry for the Titans to 125. That's for Rick. Did Desmond Ritter get any time in any recent preseason games? If so, how did he do? It's Trey McBride to 149. Tanner with the Cardinals. Justin saw the play where Zach Wilson went down. Immediately thought ACL, then Twitter doctors went wild claiming it was ACL. It's much So much so that people were confirming, oh, Twitter doctors. So then you, yeah, then you, then you realize you could fade those Twitter doctors, right, Justin? There's Kyler Murray to 299. There's a little mini Desmond Ritter for the Falcons. That'll be for Rick. Oh, yeah, there you go, Mike Tower. Uh, to borrow from Boss Man's Price Guide days. Yeah, he was the Price Guide editor back in the 80s, 90s as well. For Beckett Magazine, who yeah, who gets the up arrow after the first week of preseason? Oh, Ritter threw two t rushing uh, two through two touchdowns and sixty rushing yards. That's pretty good. Here's Romeo Dobbs, one ninety six out of two forty nine. This is a pack for Jeremy. Apparently, he's been looking pretty good in preseason too. I've not actually put eyeballs on it, but Packers fans have seemed pretty pretty bullish on this kid. There's Malik. I did see some of Malik Willis. He looked pretty good. Rick T with the Titans. All right, that was box one. Justin, Justin saying, uh, George Pickens, Malik Willis, Kenny Pickett. Up arrows. A little air out of the trash bag there. What are some of the other top headlines on ESPN? Packers activate three, including uh, tight end Tanyan off the pup list. Uh, Falcons, Drake London, knee, likely to sit out some practice. NFLPA upset with soldier field conditions. What's going on out there? Uh, just for kicks, Chief Safety Reed boots a successful PAT. That's nice. Gilo, what's going on? Yeah, that's kind of the look I'm going with. Football coach look. John Gruden wore, wore the visor. Um, Josh McDaniel, Raiders coach, wears the visor. Um, well, is that, I bet a, a lot of football coaches wear the visor, right? How many PGA Tour members wear the visor? How many golfers wear the visor? Bubba Watson still rock a visor? I think he does. It's Mike Tower's fault. He did not get a chance to mow Soldier Field before the game. Come on, Mike. Got one job. Justin likes Chris Olave. He's getting a lot of a lot of chatter, but Ian Book still just looks like a JV QB. Sam Howell looking. Oh, Phil. Yeah, that's right. Phil rocks the visor. It's Joe Burrow to 299. 
I uh, during physical activity, I get a little extra sweat going on. Sometimes gets into the eyes. I got a. I think the the visor is a little more of a tighter fit. I wonder if that's gonna. I'm gonna have to try to do a little range session with the with the visor and just see how that see how it goes. Tighten up my hat. Out of 150, Josh Jacobs for the Raiders. Raiders winning their preseason game today for whatever that's worth. We got a pink cracked ice out of five. Cortland Sutton. That's a train whistle. Mike Weir, Miguel Angel Jimenez also rock visors on the tour. Nice. So out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Who's got my rivals? Patrick with Denver. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. No, yeah, well, I mean, I don't sweat during group breaks. This is hardly physical activity. I'm talking like athletic activity as, a, as an athlete myself. You know, Zamir White, Zeus has looked good, TC. Last two preseason games look really good. I like that running back room that the Raiders have. There's the 125 for the Buffalo Bills, generations insert, Jan. I still, I still like Josh Jacobs. I'm pretty confident in him. Samir White is great. Kenyon Drake looks healthy. I mean, maybe you can even squeeze in some Amir Abdullah in the mix. And that's a pretty good running back room. Or even that Watson kid looked good in the fourth quarter. Um, so I like that running back room. I think the Raiders, especially if they struggle with the offensive line, I think the Raiders are going to definitely have to work in some more you know, more running plays to keep defenses honest, um, more more passes to running backs, more screen plays, that sort of thing. So, and more willing blockers from, from the running back position. So all that's going to have to come into play. There's Chris Olave mini. But so far in preseason action, I like what I've seen. Hey, Andre Bad Moon Rising, 24 out of 35 for the ATL. That's going to be for Rick T. Yeah, Raiders offensive line needs a little work, but I think if they kind of do some, run some quick plays, I think they should they be able to sort of make up for some of the offensive line deficiencies. Defense, I think, still is an issue. It'll be interesting to see the, the you know, maybe – Later preseason games, see first string defenders against first string um, offenses. You kind of see what happens there. That's still a question mark. I think there were still some some issues there with the defense, and that's got a that's one of their one of the Raiders' biggest deficiencies in recent years. They got to work on that. Yeah, which which uh, which rookie running back will have a huge year? Hobby-wise, it tends to be running backs, even, even with their shorter careers, but hobby-wise, quarterbacks obviously drive the hobby, football-wise. And then I think it's running backs. Wide receivers, there's kind of a lot of them. But I'm sure the Jamar Chases of the world, you know, Justin Jefferson's of the world still do pretty well. But there are fewer running backs that really, you know, like Derrick Henry, there's few running backs like a Derrick Henry these days. So many committees. But if, there's a, if a running back becomes successful, you know, like Saquon, I wish he didn't get injured, but I'm sure he wishes he didn't get injured too. But, you know, running backs like that could really move the needle in the hobby. Kenny Walker in Seattle, Justin likes. Oliver likes Brees Hall. Gilo, Chiefs fan. Sleeper running back in the Chiefs, Pacheco, or however you spell it, he says. Man, put yeah, that's the issue, Laser Cat. Running backs take such a beating. 
I think if you average out all those, uh, 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 average out all those positions, you know, the running backs definitely have the shortest career on average. To 150, there's Daxton Hill for the Bengals. And we've got Jalen Tolbert, dual relic and autograph. I think he is a cowboy. I'm still in the preseason learning these guys. Yeah, he's a Dallas Cowboy. And that will be for Oliver. Thirty-three out of one hundred. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of buzz in camp, Jalen Tolbert. It's Matthew Stafford to 299. Laser saying wide receivers need awareness first and amazing hands second. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I also think that, that uh, running a good uh, route tree, I think, is pretty underrated, too, especially in the NFL, with much faster defenses than these kids will see in college. There's Najee Harris, orange, to 25. That'll be for Peter and the Steelers. Anquan Bolden to 125. And we've got a 63 out of 65, a Drake London Dare to Tear card. This goes to the ATL. Right, confirmed? Yes, the ATL. His knee injury, not a long-term concern. Which is a good sign. So we'll ship this off to Rick. Rick, if you dare to tear when you get this, if you dare to tear, let me know what you get inside. The Desmond Ritter rookie card, also for the ATL. Dan Fouts to 50. Chargers, old Chargers legend Dan Fouts. We got an Under the Lights mini, Kieran Williams. This is 75. I don't know. Points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Everyone's got a shot at the points. Winner take all the points. If there is another points card, then I'll put it in that points pile. And here's under the lights, insert Kenny Pickett. Panini points in the room? Thankfully, you don't make those Panini points cards that small, Chilo. Although you can parlay points into exclusive packs and those exclusive pack have some monsters in there too all right aaron judge 0 for 1 on the day he's at 46 is he going to break records yankees at red sox red sox up one nothing in the fourth That wouldn't actually. That wouldn't be too bad if there was a dare to tear card. That that was a that was that you know was a point dare to tear card. Mm. Judge strikes out. 
Michael Walker's already got five strikeouts tonight. Rob saying, oh, oh, hoping for more. You're Tanner. Man, change the username again. You're trying to confuse me here. Uh, Wilson with the Jets was hoping for more Jets. Listen, we're not done yet. Play to the whistle, as Coach would always say. Play to the whistle. All it takes is one big monster out of here. And then, then the whole break is, uh, is, is all roses. Chase Young for the Commanders to 150. Yeah, keeping me on my phone. I'll, I'll try to keep up, Tanner. Did get that Garrett Wilson earlier, though. And here's another one. The first auto of the break was a Garrett Wilson, and this, one of the autos in the last box is another Garrett Wilson. There you go, see? Play to the whistle, just like Coach says. One out of 25, nice low number of Garrett Wilson autograph for Tanner and the Jets. See? James Robinson to 299. There's another Malik Willis rookie Carl. I was personally hoping for some shorter numbered rookie quarterbacks, but we haven't seen that as of yet. There's Matt Ryan to 125. Marcus Ware, that's to 100. We got a gold Chris Olave, cracked ice, five out of 10. Nice low number for the Saints, Tyrone T. T squared, TT with the Olave. There you go, Tyrone. Wish there was a little ink on it, but Got a low number going your way. It's to 299, Carson Palmer, Bengals edition. We got a Trevor Lawrence mini for the Jaguars. And behind Jameson Williams, our final autograph is gonna be to 100, it's Wandale Robinson. Dual relic and autograph. Wandale Robinson is a New York football giants. Went from a blue team to a blue team. He's a wide receiver. It's his autograph too, WR. 10 out of 100. For the G-Men. There's Desmond Ritter. And the last card here is Jaquan Brisker. And there you have it, boys and girls. A nice little four-box break in the books. Let's give away the points. Let's give away some break credit. Olave's been getting good re remarks from Mac Jones. Could be huge if Mac favors him. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, TC saying too bad he's on the Saints, though. He must be thinking of someone else. Unless he's commenting on a, uh, on a receiver, not on his team. All right, now everyone's got a shot at the points, so there's new dice, new list. So let's gather everybody's names for points. And then let's uh, 
sort by your first names and see who bought an even number of teams. Alan bought two teams, one entry. Eric Leal, two teams, one entry. Jan, two teams, an entry. Kevin bought two teams, that's an entry. Michael Brinson got four teams, that's two entries. Oliver got two teams, that's an entry. Patrick Davis got four teams, that's two entries. Peter bought two, that's an entry. Rick T got four, that's two entries. And Tanner with four, that's two entries. And Tyrone with two, that's an entry. So basically you buy an even number of teams, um, half of those become entries for break credit. This is a frequent, a, a promo that we run pretty frequently, the buy two teams, or buy even teams thing. So we got Alan, Eric, Jan, not Jeremy, not Karen, but yes to Kevin, Michael, Oliver, Patrick, Peter, Rick, Tanner and Tobias. All right, nice. So that'd be a different list right here as well, but the same dice roll. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams, six and a four, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 10th and final time. So I have six and a four, 10 times. This is for the point, 250 points going to Patrick Davis. Six and a four, 10 times for the break credit. So it's gonna be top two, winning $125 of break credit each. Top two after 10, fingers crossed, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good luck. 10th and final time, it's Patrick and Eric. You're in the top two. $125 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Going to be in your email inbox. It'll show up as a gift card. Um, we've got another four box of Legacy in the store. We can easily run this back tonight. So if you want to, let's make it happen. jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.